Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Windows 10 tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 computer to Windows 10 for free. Doing this is actually really simple. Microsoft has made it really easy if you have an activated version of Windows 7 or Windows 8 to upgrade to Windows 10 completely for free. So the first thing we actually need to do is just ensure that we actually have an activated version of Windows. And that just means that our Windows version on our computer was actually purchased rather than stolen or pirated or something like that. So most likely yours is activated. To find out if we actually have an activated version of Windows, we need to go down to the start menu in the bottom left, select that. Then once the menu opens, go over to computer and right click computer and then open up the properties. So you'll see this screen that says view basic information about your computer. What we want to do is scroll down under Windows activation, see if it says Windows is activated. So if you see Windows is activated here, that means that you have an activated version of Windows and you're eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 10. All right, so now that we know that we are eligible for a free upgrade to Windows 10, let's go ahead and open up our browser. So I'm just going to use the default browser, which is Internet Explorer, but you could use Chrome or Firefox, anything you'd like here. Now that our browser is open, we need to go to a Microsoft website to download the new installation for Windows 10. Now I will have a link in the description to this site here, but if you cannot access that for some reason, you can always search on Bing Windows 10, and it'll be the download Windows 10 link right here. Also, if you get lost, check the description. I will have a detailed write-up as well as all the links that I discussed in this video. All right, so now that we're on the download Windows 10 page, all we need to do is download the tool right here. So just select download tool now and then go ahead and save the tool. It's only 18.3 megabytes, so not too large. Once the tool has been saved, go ahead and run the tool. Select yes to allow the program to run. Now we're beginning the setup for Windows 10. The first thing we need to do is just accept their terms. So just select accept. And while this is getting a few things ready, I just want to say that because we already know our computer is activated and it's showing activated, we will not have to enter any product keys or anything like that in order to get this free upgrade. This installation will check all that information in the background, so we won't have to do anything. We just have to go through the steps here. All right, so now what we want to do is select upgrade this PC now and then go down to next. Now it's just downloading the Windows 10 operating system from Microsoft. So it might take a little bit. This is probably a pretty large file. Right, so now the download has completed and now it's gonna verify the download. Once the download has been verified, it's gonna start creating the Windows 10 media. So this is what will be used to install Windows 10. So now it completed preparing the image file. Once it completes that, it'll start getting updates. So any updates that are required for the computer to have in order to get Windows 10, it's gonna go ahead and download those now. So first it's checking for updates. All right, so now we just need to accept the terms and agreement of the license again, so we'll select accept. And now it's going to start downloading the updates that are required for us to go to Windows 10, and then it will go through the installation of those updates. And now it's just making sure that we are ready to install. One thing to keep in mind during this video is keep an eye on the timestamp down here. That'll give you an idea of your expectation for each of these different steps to complete. So hopefully you'll understand if maybe yours is taking too long and something might be wrong. All right, so now we're ready to install Windows 10. This is a very important step. So we wanna make sure that this says keep personal files. So that means anything on your computer such as videos, pictures, documents that you have, spreadsheets, anything like that, if you wanna keep those, you have to make sure that there's a check mark right here. Now, if you don't see that, then you wanna to go to change what to keep, select that, and then go to keep personal files. This also includes apps, so if you have any applications installed to your computer, such as browsers, maybe games, anything like that, this option will keep those as well. Now, if you just wanna keep your personal files, such as the pictures and videos and stuff, then this option is what you want. But I recommend keep personal files and apps. That's gonna leave everything the way it was. It's just gonna upgrade up to Windows 10. And you do have the option that if you wanna have a fresh install with no data left over, you can choose to keep nothing and this will delete all of the files and applications that are on the computer. And then when you start back up, you'll just have Windows 10. So I'm gonna select next with keep personal files and apps selected. All right, so now that we have the install keeping the personal files and apps, and that's the way we want it, all we need to do is select install 
and now it's going to go through the Windows 10 installation process. Now keep in mind, it may restart your computer several times, so that's normal. I also recommend during this period to have your computer plugged into a charger if it's a laptop, just to ensure that it does not lose power. If that were to happen, there could be issues with your installation, so you'd have to get those fixed in order to use your computer. All right, so once Windows 10 has been installed on the computer, it took it about an hour and a half for this computer to go through the entire process of installing Windows 10. You'll be brought to this screen where you can choose some privacy settings. I recommend reading through this and then configuring it based on how you feel about all these things. I'm gonna leave it default, just because some of these can be useful services, such as finding your device if it's stolen or you lose it, different things like that. So once you configure this the way you want it, just hit accept and then you will be brought to your Windows computer. If you had a login such as a password or a PIN number on your computer, then you'll need to log in first, but this computer did not. So now you're done and you've upgraded your computer to Windows 10 for free. So that's how you upgrade from Windows 7 or Windows 8.1 to Windows 10 for free. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Windows 10 tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.